I have taken a set of questions to explain the concept of how to sketch a piecewise function. The idea here is to understand different strategies which we could follow to sketch a function, okay, it's a piecewise function. I have seen students who struggle sketching a piecewise function and they are fairly good in sketching function or parent functions or transformed functions. So let's try to understand how to do that so that they get right always. Here we have a simple piecewise function f of x equals to minus 2x if x is less than 2 and f of x equals to x minus 2 if x is greater than 2. So when you get a piecewise function we should like try to understand like this. There are in this case two pieces and where are these two pieces divided? They are divided at this point and the point here is 2. So we'll just think this is divided at 2. This is the line at x equals to 2. Is it okay? Now on the left side we have this piece which is minus of 2x. So that means the graph is going like this, right? On the right side we have a piece which is like kind of going like this. Do you understand? So these are our two pieces which are joined together or may not be joined together at uh, x equals to 2. Now since these are lines then we can just find two two points on each side and sketch it. Simple as that. So that is the kind of strategy with which we are working. So we will do the same. So we will make a table of values and say well if x is less than or equal to 2 then my function is minus 2x. Let me take two values. 2 is included. So we say filled in hole, right? Filled in. So it's not a hole, it's just filled in. And the point is, at x equals to 2, what is the value of the function? Minus 2 times 2 will give me minus 4. Is it okay? Let's take one more value. So instead of which is lesser than 2, 0 is a good point. So at 0, the value is 0. That's it. So these two points will give me one side of the graph. So let's plot that side of the graph. So at 2 we have minus 4. At 2 we have minus 4. So we 1, 2, we have minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There you are. And this point is included. So like, let's include it. And at 0 we have 0. Perfect. The slope is minus 2, yes, that's, it's negative, that's right. So that means we can go up and then rise of 2, minus 1. That will give us more point, is it okay? If I put, we could put more point also. Let's set minus 2, what do we expect? Minus 2 minus 2 is 4, right? Let's put this point, it helps to draw a better graph. So minus 2 will give us 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Once we have these, then we can join them and draw a line, okay? So that's our line. Perfect. Now let's look into the right hand side. There also we have a line. So we say, well, when x is greater than 2, then what happens? The function is x minus 2. The first point is a hole, right? We are starting with a hole, not with filled in, right? Remember that part. So we are putting 2 to calculate where the hole is, okay? So at x equals to 2, we have 2 minus 2 as 0. So that's the hole, right? And then we can take more points. For example, more than 2 will be 4, kind of. Let's say 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. Let's take one more point, 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. So we get 3 points here. So we start, starting point is very essential. You have to take that point. 2, 0. So at 2, we have a hole, which is here. Do you get it? 2 is 4, 2. So we'll go to 4. 1, 2, 1, 2. That's what it is. 6 and 4. So that means this, this, two steps. Correct? So we have a graph going like this. So that's our graph for f of x equals to minus 2x when x is less than or equal to 2 and x minus 2 when x is greater than 2. Do you see that? So that's how you get your graph. I hope you understand the strategy. Go through other questions which 
I have taken different kinds of parent functions so that they will help you to understand how to piece different functions together. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. One more thing you should see. Do you see at the point where they are piecing together? Two. Are the functions continuous? No. They are discontinuous here. And what kind of discontinuity is this called? This is called jump discontinuity. So there is a jump discontinuity at x equals to 2. You see that? Because they didn't join together. If this hole falls over this point, then this function could have been continuous, which is not the case here. Okay? Thank you.